Another very popular model for software development is the V model. This model follows the sequential path of execution of phases like the waterfall model. Each phase must be completed before the next phase begins again, just like in the waterfall model we have just seen. However, this model is best suited for test activities as these activities start in parallel along with each phase of requirements, design and coding. The testing procedures are developed early in the life cycle before any coding is done, giving testers enough room to understand requirements and raise questions and issues against the requirements themselves. The first phase in this life cycle model is requirements gathering. As requirements are finalized, testing team gets involved to review the requirements and build test plans for system testing. As design gets finalized, testing team gets involved in review of the design and development of the integration test plan. The low-level design phase is where the actual software components are designed, and unit tests are created in this phase as well. The team test also starts developing systems and integration test cases and test procedures in this phase. Coding is the phase where all coding takes place. Once coding is complete, the path of execution continues up to the right side of the V, where the test plans developed earlier are now put to use. We have component unit testing or the unit testing integration testing system testing and acceptance testing as four key levels of testing in this model. We will look at each of these in more detail going ahead.